this is Gwen from Hairbow Supplies Etc. Today we are going to make a really cute tutu. So this is a, just a little crochet headband. I found this at my local craft store. I've seen it on Etsy also. Um, we've got tool here. I'm going to use this tool. This is about 25 yards in one spool. And then you need scissors and a piece of uh, cardboard. So, and then you'll also need something really fun to use to make your tutu on. I've got a really fun lampshade. How fun is that? But um, some people use like oatmeal um, canisters uh, or you know something something round. I also have like a my protein powder, which is like long and thin, that you could um, put your crochet headband on to make your tutu. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you need to know how big am I going to make my tutu. So today's tutu is going to be for a two-year-old. Cute little two-year-old. Mine are nine and twelve now. So what I did is I cut out a piece of cardboard. So this tutu that we're going to make is going to be nine inches long, and it's going to make um, what our strips are going that we're going to make are twenty inches long, and that kind of accounts for wrapping it and pulling it and, and then you know, trimming the excess and all that stuff. So what you'll do is you'll take your tool here. If you make it, like I said, if you have a different size that you need, I'll have a chart for you that you can see either on this video or in the description on my website. And then you'll be able to see the, um, the size of strips that you need to make. So again, this one is um, for a two-year-old and then my strips are gonna be 20 inches long. This piece is actually 10 inches long, so one around is gonna be the length that I need for my strip. So what you'll do is you'll take your strip. Now, if you really, really want to, you can lay this all out and cut, cut, cut one at a time. But it's really a lot easier if you take a little piece of cardboard that's 10 inches long, and then if you wrap it around twice, that'll be the length that you need for one piece of tool. So I'm going to take my tool and kinda launch it a little bit back that way launch all right so now that that's there i'm going to take it and then wrap it around this is 25 yards of tool so you're just going to wrap this around make sure that this stays even and keep wrapping it over and over and over again until you've gone through your whole set So once you have your tool all wrapped around, you go to the top and you get your scissors and then you cut through the edge here. So I went ahead and put my crochet headband over my lampshade. It's so funny that we're using a lampshade, but it really does work. So take your, two, your piece of tool, this is your first piece, and then you're going to put the ends together just like this and you'll have the loop here at the bottom. So take your end here and then pinch it real good. And then we're going to start, let me use my pencil so that you can see, we're going to start right here. So we're not gonna start on this little line, we're gonna start on this little puff here. And so this is your first hole. So what you're going to do is take and hold your crochet headband and kind of spread open that hole and then pinch your piece together and then push it through the hole just like this and take it hold on to your headband and then pull your tool up through the hole and then spread this tool here on the bottom out and then find the hole again and then take your tool and then put it through your fingers and through the loop and pull down just like that and then take and hold your headband and then pull down on your tool and that should tighten that real nicely so that's your first piece and then just let your end hang here just nicely once we get more we'll tie them and put them out of the way now we're going to go to the next hole get your next piece of tool fold the edges in half pinch them, grab your headband, find that next hole, and then push your tool through the hole, pull it up, grab your hole, and then pull the tool back through.
Let's get started on our second row. So open your crochet headband and then find the next square right here. Fold your tool in half and then put your, uh, put your tool through the bottom and then up through that next hole just like that and pull up. Pull your tool back down and pull that down just like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed making your tutu. So now what we need to do is trim off the ends. So just take your ends here and just make sure to trim them. Just like that so you have a nice edge. It's kind of like cutting hair. Just want to go all the way down and trim your tutu and make sure that all your ends look really nice. So that's it. That's how to make a super fluffy tutu. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you watching with us. And please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Y'all have a great day. Bye.